right? They did. Um, I'm going to give another warning just because of the child. I'm <laughs> uh, I'm going to give a reading out of self wrote story. Um, it's a fanfic, so like, if you have earplugs or something, I, I don't know. <laughs> okay, then. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'm reading out of my own fanfic to my wrote, um, just because it's like a Christmas show and it's at all and we all have our fantasies. So, here's one of mine. Yes. Um, Christmas theme, so I'm going to actually stick to the Christmas theme, it's called Jack Frost, so. Uh, bear with me, I also did a bunch of editing last night, and there's, there's scribbles everywhere, so if I like start rambling, it's because I'm trying to read my own scribble. <laughs> um, okay, so, he was standing there in front of the box. He was staring at it, a big smile on his, on his face. He suddenly grabbed it and bit harshly and yelled, yeah, this is so cool, he's perfect. Oh my, he's almost as beautiful as the real one. Inside the box stood a white-haired doll that wore a blue jacket and brown pants. One of his hands held a long brown staff. That was the doll of Jack Frost, the last one of his of the boys' collections. It was the hardest to find because it was the best one and also the rarest. So, and of course, since Jack Frost was the only was the favorite character of all, almost every fan of Rise of the Guardians, everyone wanted that doll. Wow! I love it. It's really the best one. Then he couldn't wait anymore. He had to open the box quickly. He feverishly tore it open and took out the doll. He was speechless in front of it, beaming like never before. Amazing by the simple pieces of plastic and fabric, he turned it around to see each part of the doll. Suddenly, his smile disappeared and he complained, oh, this is so sad, you're not the real one. He looked outside by the window of his bedroom and at as he hoped to catch a glimpse of Jack Frost flying in the cold snow, he suddenly felt alone. His parents were gone for the weekend and his friends were too busy for those days to hang out. He was really on his own. Well, it doesn't matter, he thought, like this, I'm going to watch once again, I'm going to watch the movie once again, and this time nobody, neither my parents, Jack, Lola, or Ashley, will protest each time I yell when I see Jack's cute face or say that he's handsome. He looked back at the doll, started to play with it, and a strange look covered his face. He giggled. He wondered how the, the body looked of Jack. His, his face was so well done, with lots of details, so he thought that maybe, just maybe, they made a, made a toned chest with some defined abs. He slowly removed the jumper, but it disappeared. Nothing. It was completely flat, and it was in a way of weird shape and like impossibly not real. He, he decided then to take, his, take off the pants and imagine it was the real Jack and not at all. Curious. Huh? He screamed. A voice had talked to him, whereas it was, he was supposed to be alone at home, and it was a boy's voice, and one that was not familiar. It was not his friends, not his families, not his classmates, nor his neighbors. Yet, it wasn't completely unknown. He froze and able to speak. Who was that? Someone not familiar... No, this is where I fucked up. <laughs> Someone not familiar, but that he thought he knew. Who could it be? He felt his cheeks starting to burn, he was blushing a little as he imagined someone staring at him while undressing this Jack Frost doll. <laughs> Sorry, I should have reread this myself. Um, yeah, I'm Jack. Yeah, I'm Jack. He thought, that's it. There's nobody. I'm just tired and I'm going crazy. There's, there's no one here. I'm alone. Just go back to your doll. <laughs> then he slowly turned around and he had to check that nobody was there. That he dreamt and really imagined someone talking. No way, he thought. Behind him was standing Jack Frost, and this time, it was the real one. J Jack? Jack did not answer, yet he came closer. He was taller than the boy had expected, but as handsome as the boy has ever believed he was going to be. Jack grinned. He was breathtaking. Um, he felt his cheeks blushing more. Well, the boy did. The boy felt his cheeks blushing more. He gulped and stayed speechless. Uh, Jack stared at the boy's face and then... Oh, you know, I fucked this up. Shit. <laughs> Sorry. Um, the boy stared at... Okay, no, I was right. Jack stared at the, the boy's face and then at his hands on the pants of the doll, half removed. The boy saw that Jack's look lock on his hands, so he looked there too, to know what he was watching. Then he realized what he was gazing at, he madly blushed. Jack chuckled. Jack repeated, curious, huh? 
Would you like to see the real one? His blush intensifies and he looked away. That was weird. Jack Frost existed and he was there in his home, in his bedroom. And how did he meet him? By taking the pants off of a fucking doll. <laughs> that was the most embarrassing and nerve-wracking thing anyone could have dreamed to meet their idol. She would have had to be like be a mouse and disappear into a hole. Once again, he came, Jack came closer. He stared at him. him the, the boy stared at Jack, unable to speak. When he approached Red really near to him, him, little fuck, he closed his eyes and reopened them immediately. Maybe it wasn't only a dream, and maybe it was only a dream, a hallucination. How could he even possibly re be real? But when he looked again, he let out a silent scream. He was so close to him, his face, that he could feel the cold air coming from his body and from his breath. That's, that's not possible. It can't be. You're not real, he whispered. Oh, don't worry about that, boy. I'm as real as you. I'll show you, answered the spirit with a naughty grin. And without warning, he violently kissed the boy. He screamed for real this time, but his scream was muffled by the kiss. His lar Jack's large hand gripped his neck, and the other one grabbed his waist. His lips were frozen. Jack's lips were frozen and soft as ice. It was cold, yet not painful. The kiss was rough, but passionate and Jack took pleasure to lead and to dominate the boy. When he, when he broke the kiss, he was panting and shaking a bit. Am I, am I real enough for you? Asked the spirit with a look of full lust and a large grin on his lips. The boy only managed to nod, still speechless. Good, said Jack, because I want to do it again. He was lost, Jack was real, he was in his bedroom and he was kissing him like a soldier had not seen a man in years. Or woman, depending on the soldier. I guess I should put that out, it would make more sense. But, um, still surprised, he decided to cope with the situation and enjoy it, even if it was a mere hallucination. The boy ran into Jack's arms like to be sure he was once again there and hugged him with a strong grip. Yep, he was real. Definitely. The hug was so powerful, they almost fell against the wall. Wow, that's my Jack, love my job, said Jack between two chuckles. And he kissed him again and locked the boy between his cold body and the wall. The boy deeply blushed, and he felt his body. He felt Jack's body stroking his. Jack grinned. Shy, are we? Jack bent his face, hit it. In, oh yeah, Jack bent his face, hit it in the neck, and started to slow, slowly to lick it. The boy couldn't prevent it, and a moan escaped his lips. He could feel him grinning on. He could feel Jack grinning on his neck. Jack's hands roamed around the boy's waist and thighs. He was losing it. All of a sudden, Jack forced himself, forced the boy over, and his body was now facing the wall. The spirit squeezed up against him, and the boy could feel his member rubbing on. I can't read this with a child there. <laughs> I'm at this part, and I'm going to say one word, and I'm just like, it's not even that bad of a child. <laughs> I really hope not. Don't, don't introduce him. Movie. Like, keep away from this movie. Um, where was I? Uh, and the boy could feel his member rubbing on his ass. He, <laughs> uh, <laughs> the boy kept like Jack kept licking the boy's neck, and his finger tangled, and Jack's fingers tangled with the boy's, pressing his hands against the wall, and but harshly the. He bit harshly the crook of his, the boy's neck, and he cried out in the surprise, pain, and pleasure. Then suddenly he turned the boy over to face him, lowered himself, grabbed his legs, and carried him on his shoulders. If I can keep going, or should I stop and leave? Keep going? Okay, it's like another, like, seven pages, so sorry. <laughs> um, okay, where was I? Uh, he screamed. A little Jack had been quite brutal and he didn't expect that. He put him on his he put him back on his feet and in front of the bed and quickly pulled him over to him. Jack kissed the boy again, and when he noticed that his tongue was fighting for the boy's tongue was fighting for dominance, he decided to show the boy who was the real boss. Jack grabbed the white shirt from the boy and violently torn it off. As the Shreds of the fabric hit the floor, and the boy gasped, surprised by his actions. Then he pushed him onto the bed, and before the boy had time to know what was happening, he, Jack was on top of him. 
He grabbed his, the boy grabbed Jack's wrist and held him tightly. As Jack licked the, boy, the boy's neck, neck again, making him shiver. His soft and cool tongue slowly headed toward the boy's ear and where his face stopped. He stayed there. He stayed still there, making the boy tremble. He listened, the boy listened to his breath, breathing that was erratic, and felt his wrist shiver in the prison of his hands. He closed his eyes and enjoyed the moment, enjoyed the dominance and the chaos that was going through the boy because of Jack. Unexpectedly, he felt his cold, cold breath stroking his ear. He whispered, I'm going to make you beg for mercy. Oh my god, the kid's gone. The kid's gone, thank god. I'm going to make you beg for mercy, and I'm going to fuck you like no one has ever done. I'm going to make you cry out my name. If it was still possible, the boy blushed more. Uh, Jack's lips slowly stroked the boy's earlobes, and then he licked it and softly bit it as his hand pressed the stomach and the crotch. He could feel the boy's pants getting more and more. Oh, this, I rewrote this wrong. Fuck. Um, okay. The boy could feel his pants getting more and more tight and his body getting warmer as ever before. As, as Jack's cold hands and lips were taken care of. Jack bit the boy's bare shoulder <clears throat> while his tongue was massaging the skin between his white teeth until blood appeared. He screamed in pain but moaned too. He licked the red liquid and groaned, staring at the boy's eyes with a look of full lust. Not done yet. <laughs> I, I can stop and we can go to someone else if you guys want to wait to get to the dog. Yeah. Do you want to wait? Can we? How am I looking for time? I'll stop there then. We'll stop with the blood.